They gave me two choices. Either spend 34 years of my life rotting away in convict Disneyland, or voluntarily undergo a lobotomy. Neither sounded too awesome. You see, I've always had a little problem with authority. I was one little Indian with a taste for rhubarb pie. After six armed robberies, four arsons, and an attempted murder, I found myself staring straight up the unruly jungle nostril of the man. I was a clog in society's toilet, and Rotorooter was a knockin'. I knew that things would change, that I would feel different, but not like this. Life suddenly turned flat and gray. Food lost its taste. I felt like I misplaced something, but I didn't know what. I started reading the Washington Post and thinking about things like the price of dairy or what new shirt I should buy from Land's End. Life was like looking the wrong way through a pair of binoculars. Then one day, I found Tina. We met on some online dating website, lobotomylove.com. I was immediately attracted to her bright white teeth and her sense of humor. We can spend hours together in complete silence. Tina used to be a lot like me, and one day she got her just desserts too. Now Tina's three months pregnant. We're planning on getting married, moving into a duplex, and living happily ever after.